Hey guys, this is Raj from The Geek Life. Today, we are looking at the Xiaomi Mi Max, arguably the most value for money phablet currently in the market. I've been using the Mi Max for over 5 months and this is a basic review of the phone. You only get the bare essentials out of the box. You get the phone, a USB 2.0 cable, a power adapter and a user guide. There are no earpieces or any other accessories included in the box. Let's begin by looking at the technical specifications of the Mi Max. The Mi Max has a 6.4 inch 1080 by 1920 full high definition screen. It boasts a Qualcomm Snapdragon 650 and comes in 4 storage configurations and 2 colors. A 16GB model with 2GB of RAM, a 32 or 64GB model with 3GB of RAM, and a 128GB model with 4GB of RAM. The phone also supports expandable storage via a microSD card. The phone has a 16MP rear camera and a 5MP front facing camera. The most impressive component of the phone in my opinion would be the huge 4850 mAh battery. Looking at the front, the 6.4 inch Full HD display comes in at a pixel density of 342 ppi, which would qualify to be Retina grade. It also uses an IPS display which allows for great viewing at various angles. The screen uses Gorilla Glass 4, a premium glass finish that isn't really common on phones at this price point. Gorilla Glass 4 allows the screen to be more scratch and shatter resistant. Looking at the back, you have the 16 megapixel camera, the flash and the fingerprint sensor. The rest of the body is made of metal and gives off a premium and solidly built look and feel. Due to the phone's slim design and use of a metal body, it is prone to flexing. My personal set has flexed quite a bit and developed a slight curvature. The constant flexing has also caused a dent to appear along the volume rockers. This can be mitigated by using a decent case with a rigid structure. The phone runs off Xiaomi's custom MIUI 8 skin based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Performance is overall snappy due to its Snapdragon 650 processor. I initially faced some issues with email notifications due to Xiaomi's aggressive power conservation settings. However, with some minor tweaks, the issues were resolved. In terms of usability, the phone is definitely not designed for one-handed usage. But some of us with bigger hands might be able to pull it off due to its slim design. Xiaomi is known to include decent cameras in their phones and the Mi Max's camera does not disappoint. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of three outdoor photos taken by the Mi Max, a Galaxy S7 and iPhone 7 Plus respectively. As seen in these photos, an average user would not be able to identify much of a difference in the image quality. Images taken by the Mi Max under low light conditions were visibly more noisy and pixelated when compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. The Mi Max is able to produce quality images despite its price point. Battery life is where the Mi Max truly shines. The impressive 4850mAh battery is able to withstand a full day of usage even for the heaviest of smartphone users. By comparison, a Samsung Galaxy S7 only has a 3000mAh battery, while an iPhone 7 Plus only has a 2900mAh battery. Based on my daily usage, the Mi Max would usually have about 20% of battery life left after using it from 8am to 8pm. My iPhone 7 Plus on the other hand would usually run out of battery by 6pm and require charging. In summary, 
the phone's overall performance is able to keep up with the needs of most users. The malleable metal body could use some improvement and the inclusion of a quick charger to utilize the Snapdragon processors, quick charging capability would go a long way in improving the time it takes to charge the battery. The inclusion of a black bezel around the display can also be distracting at times. Overall, a capable processor, an impressive battery and a large screen makes the Mi Max a great workhorse and joy to use. The Mi Max's shortfalls can be overlooked due to its impressive price. If you are comfortable with a large phone and looking for a value for money device, the Mi Max is the phone to get.